we are in a season of Advent, a specific time of longing and expectation of Jesus' birth. This is week three of our time together in contemplation, reflection, and celebration of Advent. Together, let's turn our attention towards this week's time of scripture. Maybe you might want to close your eyes or focus in on our candles. Our scripture comes from Luke 1, verse 39 through 56. A few days later, Mary hurried to the hill country of Judea, to the town where Zechariah lived. She entered the house and greeted Elizabeth. At the sound of Mary's greeting, Elizabeth's child leapt within her, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. Elizabeth gave a glad cry and exclaimed to Mary, God has blessed you above all women, and your child is blessed. Why am I so honored that the mother of my Lord should visit me? When I heard your greeting, the baby in my womb jumped for joy. You are blessed because you believed that the Lord would do what he said. Then Mary responded, Oh, how my soul praises the Lord. How my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he took notice of his lowly servant girl, and from now on all generations will call me blessed. For the mighty one is holy. He has done great things for me. He shows mercy from generation to generation to all who fear him. His mighty arm has done tremendous things. He has scattered the proud and the haughty ones. He has brought down princes from their thrones and exalted the humble. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away with empty hands. He has helped his servant Israel and remembered to be merciful. For he made this promise to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary stayed with Elizabeth about three months and then went back to her own home. What an amazing response of worship and what a beautiful gift of friendship. This is often an overlooked part of this sacred story. To see worship and joy and friendship being stirred within these women is something special that we should lean into. When was the last time you sang a song as loud or heartfelt as possible? What caused you to do that? Why do you think Mary responded in song? Why do you think we sing songs of worship? What might giving yourself over to singing songs of worship look like for you? How might your participation in worship through song privately and communally inspire your faith and bring joy to yourself and others? Or maybe ask yourself who in your life right now is someone you can share your faith with and allow encouragement, joy, and worship to be inspired within. Or maybe there's just something from the message today that you need to bring before God in prayer. Let us do that together now in prayer. Joy giver, I open my heart to you today. Stir within me joy. Help me to relax my shoulders and let go of inhibitions and delight in your presence. Bring a smile to my face today. I lay all my burdens that I find myself carrying into your loving arms. As I lay that down, I willingly pick up your peace, your comfort, and your joy today. God even put a song in my heart. Amen.